नमस्कार शिक्षार्थियों आज के सेशन में आप सभी का स्वागत है आज हम बात करेंगे लेसन 28 बी की सीनियर सेकेंडरी लेवल पे जिसका टॉपिक है प्ले सेंटर एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चरल डिटेल्स सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग द डिफरेंट फैसिलिटीज दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू रन अ प्ले सेंटर इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट एड किट दैट नीड्स टू बी देयर इन अ प्ले सेंटर सो दैट इफ एनी इज गेटिंग हर्ट इन द प्ले सेंटर immediate first aid can be provided to the child or through the member of the staff as well so first aid kit can involve bandages thermometer sticking plaster scissors sterilized surgical cotton antiseptic ointment and gauze so next we are going to discuss a little about the play center staff so first we are going to discuss about the caregiver so caregiver plays an important role in the development of the child because they are with them throughout and they help them in conducting different activities and learning different material they answer their different queries so that's why a caregiver has a key influence on in the quality of service provided she he is a person responsible for the activities and programs conducted in the play center to achieve the established goals and objectives so there is uh, so what happens is a caregiver needs to be trained properly they need to have proper education and training before they actually go into a play center and interact with the child next what uh, what another staff member in a play center we have is an assistant so assistant is basically required for the housekeeping services such as cleaning and providing the different play equipment to the child and taking care of the child while they are well while they are using toiletry facilities and giving the child with uh, giving the child water and say food serving them food all all that is done by the assistant so the housekeeping services needed at any play center such as cleaning of the play center premises laying out equipment and minding equipment and other items in a play center require an assistant the assistant should love children and be ready to care for them at all times so this is important this characteristic assistant should love children why because children can be repetitive so they can ask a question multiple times aur wo ye bhi pooch sakte hai ki aap hame khana kab doge chahe aapne unko 5 minute pehle diya hai but they gonna ask it again and again so an assistant needs to be a little patient with the child they need to be loving towards the child that so that they don't get annoyed by the child even when they are asking the same question again and again so that's why it is an important characteristic of an assistant the assistant needs to be on duty helping the children and the teacher to handle the situation effectively so sometimes what happens is a play center if not run properly can go haywire and that can be very problematic in the sense that child might not learn very effectively their curiosity is not being fed uh, appropriately so that's why all the staff members need to be very on their feet basically all the time so that they are always ready to answer the child even if uh, it is a query regarding food or sometimes maybe some other knowledge part so that's why you always need to be ready for the child's queries and answer them so that they don't feel demotivated next we have is the cook as we discussed that there are different meals given in a play center and for that we need a cook so that the meals can be prepared in an hygienic environment in front of the teacher and the nutrition level of the meal can be assured so meal preparation requires a cook on the staff list the cook must have clean habits and observe them in the cooking area she he should be ready to take directions from the teacher to prepare nutritious and tasteful food on time the cook should know reading and writing so that's a basic eligibility for a cook they should know reading and writing he she should have passed at least 8th standard so there are always certain eligibility criteria for each and every post so a decorum of any institution can be maintained next we have is what are the duties of the caregiver so there are five aspects of this so we going to discuss the first aspect what are the duties of a caregiver to themselves here we have mentioned herself 
but this can always be himself as well here herself is written but this can be himself as well it's not mandatory that only a female can be a caregiver a male person can also be a caregiver if they have gone through proper training and proper education for the particular job role so here what are the basic duties of a caregiver in a play center to themselves to the caregiver themselves remain in good physical and emotional health at all times they should always maintain a physical and emotional sound health they should never be like if they have cold they came to the play center because they are dam they are actually causing danger to the health of the child so that's why the uh, caregiver should always be in good physical and emotional health be progressive and enthusiastic they should have a level of excitement because if they are not excited about their job how they are going to make the children excited about what they are going to learn so a caregiver needs to be enthusiastic and progressive in manner grow professionally so they should take it as a what whatever they are doing they should take it as a uh, profession in terms that not doing just only one course so so that you can do the jo job basically you are just satisfying the job role and you are doing it you should always be enthusiastic and learn more about how you can actually enhance your job role and how you can enhance the development of the child as well by learning more and imparting more on the child next we have what are the duties of the caregiver to the children first meet their needs enjoy working and being with them whatever the needs cognitive physical motor so whatever the need of the child the caregiver should be able to meet those needs and they should love working with them so that they can spend that time in as and can actually enhance the development of the child and then respect them as individuals the caregiver needs to be certain while they are talking to the children that they actually impart information where they learn to respect their own individu individuality the child themselves learn to respect themselves and others for that the caregiver needs to be respectful towards the children first then build desirable relationship with them and help to build a good self image and how that can be done how we can build a good self image in a child by actually providing them sabse pehle we will be respectful towards them and motivating them throughout whatever activities they are doing even if they are failing at an activity actually providing them help and saying that okay they can do it actually motivating them to continue with the activity and getting success next what are the duties of the caregiver to the parents provide good counseling and value them and their ideas so if a parent is showing constraint that they don't want to send their child to a play center the caregiver needs to be very sensitive about this issue and should provide good counseling that why they should send their child to a play center and also kind of in uh, integrate their idea so understanding in the first place why the parent is not ready to send their child to a play center and what can be done is through conversation the gap can be bridged and that can be done through good counseling and valuing the parents ideas as well plan with them plan with the parents for the well being of the child involving parents as well in the objectives and planning of the play center bridge the gap between the home and school so here what the caregiver will do is they will enhance the development of the child by involving the parents by actually minimizing the gap between home and school because what happens is parents usually think bachche ne jo school mein seekh liya seekh liya ab ghar pe usko kuch seekhne ki zarurat nahi hai but that is not true the child needs to be given an environment where their development is motivated throughout and enhanced throughout so what are the duties of uh, the caregiver to the staff members so they need to involve the staff members as well support their ideas and knowledge knowledge sometimes what happens is even the staff member can have certain very good ideas for the development of the children for the activities being conducted in the play center 
So that's why supporting their ideas and knowledge involve them in the program. Next we have is what are the duties of the caregiver to the community? Be aware of the problems of the community and try to solve them. So here the caregiver of the play center need to focus on the larger problems that are existing in a society. Whatever area the play center is serving, there might be certain issues in the community. For example, proper water facilities if, not, if are not there in the society, uh, say in the community, then the caregiver should see what can be done so that at least clean water facilities are here in the community. Next, participate in local professional organization pertaining to the welfare of children. So if there is any program going on in the community, the caregiver can participate and can, uh, can actually support or say put forward ideas for the welfare of the children. So that was it for the day and uh, we are finishing here. So this session play center and structural details. We have actually covered a lot of aspect about play center. We have discussed the objectives of the play center and the different uh, behavioral problems that might exist in a child and how can we, how can we deal with them. And uh, it was in the continuation that we discussed what are the equipments and what are the uh, different play areas and how the different staff members can actually involve in the play center and uh, we would like to finish uh, the session here. Thank you so much. And if there are any queries, please put forward them in the YouTube section. We will be looking forward for your queries. Thank you.